Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ilona. I'm also a Shakur Transformations. I'm an online health and fitness coach and I'm also a bodybuilder. I'm not a doctor, not a nutritionist, not a dietitian. And today we are going to look at Amberlynn Reed's day three of Jenny Craig. Um, sort of I'm a bit quiet. Basically it's like half past six in the morning here and I want to go out for a walk but I can't because it's too dark. So I figured I'd get this video filming out of the way because um, I've, I just have a really busy day, so I need to go, I want to go for a walk, and then I need to get food shopping, and do food prep, it's, I've got clients, I've got a live stream later, I've got this to edit, I've got a busy day. Um, I feel really, really tired as well, so if I look tired, this is why, um, I couldn't be bothered to do much with my makeup. I just hit my dark circles, put on some lip gloss, mascara and eyebrows and that's it. And uh, seeing the calorie counting has been really popular. Uh, there's a 100% feature I'm going to keep up with, uh, especially where I can do what I eat in the days, because they're kind of like my favourite videos anyway. I really like doing these sort of videos, so if we can do the calorie counts with it and I can show you guys um, how much food actually is or how little food is or what you can be mindful of, then it's great. Like, um, Obviously if I can edu educate people that's fantastic. Obviously this video is a massive troll and this was filmed directly after the Panera mukbang. I did see on Kiwi Farms about her posting in the Facebook group that she is, that her lymph nodes are still enlarged and that she's worried about her cancer returning, which is, it's sad that she's worried, but at the same time, if you put out videos where you're eating Panera bread and you're, this thumbnail of this video, it's just hold on you do thumbnails like this look at that that's like look if you want to troll that's fine if you want to taunt your audience and have a laugh that's fine i think some of her trolls are funny but at the same time you also have to realize that people do lose respect for you and people are not going to be very sympathetic towards you or let or people are going to be less sympathetic towards you if you do end up with another serious health concern so I'm not saying it's right or wrong, I'm just saying you can't expect people to be understanding if you are mocking them all the time, right? Obviously I hope she doesn't have potentially a returning cancer or anything like that, but at the same time she's 520 pounds at 5 foot 3 or at 5 foot 4, whatever, an inch on that, an inch on 500, over 500 pounds, it doesn't make a difference. So health problems are going to come with that. Alright, let's now get into it. I didn't put the thing on behind me either because it's quite noisy to move around. Hey guys, so welcome to a new video. Um, I'm wearing this. this scab that she's had for almost a whole year. That is it's concerning, isn't it? I know that people are hypothesizing on what could be wrong in terms of um, illnesses. I won't do that because, you know, I'm not a doctor, but yeah, there's there is various discussions on what potentially could be the cause of her not healing well. Same thing that I wore in the last video, as you can tell. Besides, I am wearing a jacket. It is a leather jacket. I don't know what I'm doing. We actually just got back from Target and I the last video I filmed was the Panera Bread. I did add the Panera Bread to the diary, as you can see here. People, you guys came through, you advised me on um you advised me on the fact that what she had was actually two whole sandwiches so i put in four sandwiches four half sandwiches i put in the chili i put in the two bags of kettle chip and she also drank some like sort of like a watermelon iced tea somebody said so that meal came down to 2.2 thousand calories 231 grams of carbs 82 grams of fat and 103 grams of protein Mukbang, and i think i filmed that about six hours ago and i was gonna do like a reaction to it with me like watching it on camera because it's a load of crap literally but i don't have it uploaded so it's 9 32 in the background there it's fascinating the time that she gets up and she has her first meal i understand if you are like um, a shift worker or something like that but if you don't work shifts you should probably just try and go to bed and sleep at night time because that's kind of natural for our bodies um, staying up all night and then it's but I know for myself if I don't sleep properly I don't know how many hours she gets but I know that if I'm tired 
I am more likely to fail or stick to my diet just because I kind of want the easy foods, the quick foods. Um, I kind of want those quick energy fixes as opposed to eating the right thing. So, so I kind of sort of can't do that yet. And many of you are going to ask, well, why upload it? Like, what's the point if you're making this video? Because I want you guys to see how big of an idiot I am. Long story short. But she knew exactly what she was doing now. The way she's like eating and looking into that camera. I binged last night. Last night was day two of Jenny Craig. And I don't know what happened, but during that binge, I chopped off 14 inches of my hair. Um, I don't- mm, I wonder if it's like a sort of manic episode. Because it's quite a big deal for her to cut, chop things off her hair. But then I wouldn't be surprised that she's calculating enough to plan it in and give it some, give it, make it something for people to talk about. Here we go. I just figured out why I was looking so dark. This is better, isn't it? Sorry, guys. I just realized that the setting on my camera was really dark. And I'm like, why am I looking so dark for? Even though I've got my ring light here. It's early in the morning. Like I said, I'm having some form of caffeine right now. Some pre-workout. No, what the heck was going on? But it happened, and I went to bed saying, Jenny Craig is not for me. I woke up with the same mind frame. It's really interesting how the mindset that she has, because she truly does set herself up for failure, even a couple of days in. Is it for controversy? Is it just because she is just so in her mind that she just doesn't know how to cope with things? I generally do think that she is not in a position to try and do any diet on her own she probably does have to go to an inpatient care just because if she can't even stick to a diet or foods that she actually likes well as per the reactions that she had the taste of the food she likes if she can't even stick to that for literally a day or two days then there is serious problems with willpower that need to be addressed and or there is a very serious lack of willpower I don't think she has that, I don't think she can do it on her own and there's nothing wrong with admitting you can't do something or you need help. Maybe this is like completely hypothesizing, you know, I'm just thinking out loud. Maybe because of her upbringing and having been always in foster care, maybe she's had to do a lot of things for herself. That maybe this is why she's quite reluctant to take help. Um, like I, for example, I've always been very independent. When I was 18 I moved out of the house, I've always worked, I've always made sure that I've made my own money and like even now even when we get pregnant and I have a baby I will probably still keep some clients on with my coaching business because I just like to have that independence where I can think for myself and just be somewhat what's the word like autonomous is that it and maybe this is something with her having been in foster care and the upbringing she's had that she's very much that she wants to try and do things on her own I don't know but it's okay to and acknowledge that you can't do things on your own as well but in the pit of my gut, I knew that I was making the wrong decision and I still was making the wrong decision as I was making that move bomb. So if you want to go back for reference, you can kind of tell that I'm just low, like I'm literally just talking out of my butt at that point because I was trying to make excuses for overeating. Mm, I feel like she's trolling us here. If I can slow it down, I will. Let me, because she is the. Um, there's a name for it. The what do you call it? The the micro expressions. I don't actually know what the technical terms for the, the the micro expressions, but you can see them with her really well. So let's slow it down. Excuses for overeating. Because Weight Watchers allows that. I was trying to not be strict with myself, but... I don't know. I actually feel like she's been quite truthful here, to be honest. What do you think? I think she's been truthful here. She comes across as quite truthful. I need right now to lose weight. And after I filmed that video... And she's always... She does actually look like... She actually looks like she's ashamed of herself here. You know, looking down, like avoiding the camera, as opposed to... Um, smirking or like having like a, having like a cheeky smirk or like smile like smiling through the eyes or being smug like none of that is really happening i was 
was editing it, my gut was telling me, Amberlynn, this is not the right choice. You are making the wrong choice. I even told Becky. Uh, this is another thing as well. It's like, why, why is Becky, like, look, she can't go out anywhere. I'm sure she can get the food, I'm sure she can get food delivered, but why is Becky not telling her that she's not buying it or like she's not gonna get her food or anything like that? Or why does she, she just diet with her? Cause let's face it, Becky needs to go on a diet as well. Or is it, is it just a case of that there's going to be arguments in the relationship if she doesn't get the food? I don't know. I'd rather be in an argument with somebody that I love and trying to save their lives as opposed to just giving them what they want. I looked at Becky and I said, Becky, has your gut ever like truly spoke to you? Cause like everyone always like has that saying like, follow your gut, follow your gut. Well, this might be one of the first times in my life, one of the first times that my gut actually spoke to me and said, Amberlynn, you need to do <laughs> She is kind of funny when she says stuff like that though. Cause obviously she's talking about gut instinct, but some of her amberisms are funny. That is quite funny. My gut actually spoke to me. I can just um, see that uh, Old Spice commercial with, what's his name? That um, that buff actor guy. He, uh, that was, who was a white chick, like a white chick as well. He does this Old Spice thing and his stomach gets like a mouth. Do Jenny Craig. Stop making excuses. It's so crazy because I've never felt that with anything. The thing is though, if she had that Panera, right? Look. If we go to the spreadsheet, so her maintenance to stay the same weight is uh, 3,600 calories. I said around 4,000 last time. It probably it was a little bit overestimated, but f to be fair, she probably does eat. She probably does eat around 400 calories a day because she does gain weight pretty much consistently. The shocking part is that she's got a BMI of 92. Pfft, that's crazy, isn't it? But anyway. That Panera came down to 2,200 calories and she ate that in the afternoon. If she were to have like another, if she was to really want to stick with it and stay on track and like, look, we all mess up. I had, I had a takeout on Saturday and I had a lot of Mexican food and it was delicious and I really enjoyed it and it was really high carbohydrate. But once you've done that, you just get back on track the next day. So, or even with the following meals or the prior meals, like just because you've made you've calculated in one cheat meal or you've made a mistake, it doesn't mean you have to keep making those mistakes. But ideally what you should do is just continue drinking a lot of water, which is what you should do after a cheat meal, drink a lot of water, not to feel full, but just to help uh, digest and um, help with the water retention and all of that. Then maybe because it was like a very high carb meal, this is what I would do. So I had a very high carb meal if I just, if I had all of this, I would just have the next meal would just be just like a nice salad or some pan fried meat with some vegetables and just make it a keto meal. Just cut back on your carbohydrates and maybe cut back on your sodium as well. That's what I would do and that's what I would recommend. It's like if you have, um, if you mess up for a few days, just just get back on track, just eat healthier. Like either mind your calories during that dreaded day or be a little bit mindful the next day. And it doesn't mean like heavily restrict or fast. It just means that if you're really over consumed on like your fats or really over consumed on your carbs or whatever, then the next day just dial that back a little bit just to even out the, the calories that you've consumed. Like Octavia, uh, counting calories, veganism. This is one thing I find really annoying is when people call veganism a diet. Veganism is not a diet. You shouldn't do vegan. I'm not a vegan. And I have nothing against vegans, but to me it's something you do because it's for moral reasons. 
you shouldn't become a vegan because you're trying to lose weight. That's, to me, I'm sure it's a bit of a byproduct of what can happen, but veganism, you should do it for a lifestyle because you care for the animals. Or you have a problem with factory farming, or whatever it may be, right? You shouldn't do vegan, oh my god, that's still. You shouldn't do veganism because you're trying to get skinny. That's the wrong way, because you can be vegan and unhealthy. You can be a meat eater and unhealthy. You can be an omnivore and unhealthy. It doesn't really matter what lifestyle you follow. You can still be fat and you can still be unhealthy. As long as you, if you don't make the right food choices. Anything, like even weight loss surgery, I've never felt that gut feeling. I am very grateful my gut spoke to me. Truthfully, anytime that I usually mess up on a diet or a lifestyle change early on in the day, I use the rest. Also, I think it's from what I understand, diets are very likely to fail, but lifestyle changes are not. So, if you're trying to change something with your appearance, you should do it not because you're going to go on a holiday, you should do it because it's something you want to sustain long term, and that's why lifestyle changes tend to have. Not as a net, not as much of a negative connotation and not as high a failure rate. I just tried to look it up, but to be honest, I don't have the time to sit here and spend like an hour trying to find relevant studies and articles. I had a huge excuse to just binge and tell myself, oh, tomorrow's a new day. I'll just start fresh, but I'm not doing it. I'm doing the advice. Sorry, I'm not checking myself out because I know I look like shit, but... Just trying to figure out like how I should the height of the camera to where I'm sitting because I have a habit of hunching over. I set it all up all right and then I get filming and I just end up doing this. Advice <laughs> that almost every single professional and person who has lost a large amount of weight tells me all the time. Start now. Who cares what you ate throughout the day? Yeah, I kind of right. But if she were to start now, then she shouldn't eat all of her 1700 calories of Jenny Craig as well, as well as the Panera. She should start now by going, okay, well, I've already overeaten for the day. So for the rest of the day, I'm just gonna make healthier choices or low calorie choices. Start now. There's no reason for, oh, tomorrow's a new day. So I'm starting now. I looked at my Jenny Craig menu and I am going based off of what it's telling me to eat but i'm taking some things off because i already did eat panera bread that is actually good i'll be interested to see how much she's gonna eat we will count the calories for sure but yes she's right in what she's saying so instead of binging i'm gonna follow through with some of the um my food's probably like all messed up because i've been sitting here talking because i'm gonna do a taste test because i'm still gonna do that in this video because today is day three. Oh, so she's having more carbs right she literally ate nothing but carbs so now she's going to eat more carbs now this is the choice this is where she probably needs somebody who understands nutrition better than what she does because they would advise her that a she's probably going to feel f more full up if she ate something that's more higher in protein and b she's had enough carbs to see her through today she doesn't need to eat more carbohydrates so we've got like apple and pancakes here so this is Jenny Craig waffles and Jenny Craig syrup and a serving of fruit, so. That's not one apple, is it? Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll assume it's a large apple. So um, for that meal, we have 325 calories, not too bad. 70 grams of carbs though, that is a lot. So, and the thing is, there's probably not a lot, of, an awful lot of fiber in this either. So it's 70 divided by five. So that's 14 grams, that's 14 teaspoons of sugar to put that into perspective because this is all going to be simple sugars. Fructose is a simple sugar. Granted, your body does metabolize it slightly differently. Um, like, for example, I can I absorb fructose a lot better. Obviously, it does have fiber in it as well. It's not quite, this, it is molecularly, it is, is that a word? Molecularly, it is a simple sugar. They are uh, monosaccharides, but... The way the body absorbs it with the fiber as well as the vitamins is it is slightly different regardless just to put it into plain terms she is eating 14 teaspoons of sugar in that meal 14. so with this if i would have ate this as breakfast then i would also be having a jenny craig protein shake but i thought she would have been better off having the protein shake instead of the waffles in my opinion just because her, her diet is incredibly incredibly protein deficient and because this is just simple sugars, this is just going to spike her insulin and she's going to just want to eat again very soon after, the second that that's worn off. <clears throat> Which, by the way, talking of insulin, I actually got a blood glucose meter 
and I also got a blood pressure meter, a reading, reading machine. This is for a video I'm gonna do in a couple of weeks time. So keep an eye out for that. I feel like I had, you know, the protein with my turkey chili that I had from Panera Bread. Plus I had chicken on the sandwich I got with it, etc., etc. Okay, so let's do this. Mm. So I don't know if this is genuine reaction or whether she's just putting this up, but if the food is that nice, why would you cheat on this? That doesn't make sense to me. This is so good. I don't understand. It's because of sugar, that's why. That's good. It's like highly processed, so of course it's gonna be good. Look, if she if it, if she doesn't stick to it, ugh, I don't know. If she would stick to it, and she could lose weight quite rapidly in a very short period of time, great. But this is not a sustainable diet. It's pretty unhealthy just because it is highly processed. But when you are like for over 500 pounds, losing weight takes priority over nutrition um, initially, but not for a very long time. Nutrition matters. Vitamins matter. Minerals matter. Mm. Oh, talking also, by the way, when I did that video on on program situation, and I commented on her walking that I was surprised that she was so sweaty and out of breath from walking. People told me it's like walking with Leslie or something like that, which is a video. And I actually did that yesterday and it's harder than I thought it would be. Um, I don't th didn't think it was hard at all. Like I didn't break out in a sweat or anything, but it is actually quite good exercise. So if you are somebody who is overweight or, you know, the weather is bad, do find these walk with videos online and it's a good way to just get in half an hour of exercise that's not very taxing on the body and um, yeah you just get if you're quite unfit you will definitely get sweat on if you're a bit more fit it's just a nice way to try and get some steps in so it was harder than I thought it was so my apologies for that that I didn't realize it was uh, what it was I thought it was just going for a walk and I was like being out of breath for a half an hour walk is concerning. As, as an adult female, you shouldn't be out of breath for walking for half an hour, but now I understand what it was, and I tried it myself because I like doing that. I realized that it was harder than I thought it was initially. So, learn something new there. Last night, when I binged, I was like, bye Jenny Craig. It was definitely like a, I think like a manic moment because the fact that I also cut 14 inches off of my hair goes to show that like, I just wasn't thinking. I do not regret the hair part though. I am so happy. Apparently I saw this on Kiwi Farms as well. Um, I'm not gonna pretend that I don't like Kiwi Farms. I love it over there. I'm a regular visitor. But apparently she cut her hair already in the Q&A. So it took still. And you can see she'd already cut, cut her hair by then, so. And there are a few things I wanna say because people are like commenting like, oh my God, Jenny Craig is like not sustainable. Look at the small amounts of food you're eating. It's not so much about not sustainable because of a small amount of food. It's just really highly processed. It's the, the nutrition isn't incredibly healthy. It, a lot of it is just high carb and very processed. But I don't know. Maybe that's just the version she has. I don't. I, I don't know much about Jenny Craig. I just had a quick look at their plans before um, before I did the initial video. What? It seems like a lot of food to me. Like you're eating six times a day. And you're eating lots of veggies, lots of fruit. I'm like really confused. I was like so confused with that statement. But what also makes me confused is like people saying that. And then people saying in in my other past videos of like counting calories. That's just like too much food. That's just like too much food. There's never like a happy medium for you guys. Like I Everybody's got their, obviously, people have different ways of approaching things. I think she can probably eat two to two and a half thousand calories. If I were to write a diet for her, I would probably put her on 3,000 calories whole foods. That's what I would do, with maybe allow a thing once a day or something like that, or once a week, I don't know. But I would put her on the law of whole food um, as opposed to processed food, but then. I don't know, I wouldn't personally feel particularly comfortable coaching somebody like Amber. When people get to a certain weight, it's difficult to um, help them unless they really want to change themselves. Okay, but before I get into the taste test, I cut even more of my hair. <laughs> uh, are you guys ready? <laughs> I'm shook. To some of you, you're going to be like, I don't even notice. This is almost... Honestly... I think it looks a lot better for it. Her hair looks so much healthier and it looks nicer on her too. 
rather than just that long dead hair. Baby, like it? Very. very Becky really nice. likes it. She said it makes me look younger. I like it too. I feel like. <laughs> okay, so I'm having half of an apple. This is not an apple. I'm having half of a banana and I'm having chicken carbonara. More carbs. All right, so that meal is almost 300 calories. So the calories are really not bad. To be honest, the calories are really, really not bad on these meals. 43 grams of carbs, quite a lot. Six grams of fat, 70 grams of protein. It's not too bad. It's not ideal, but it's better than the previous meal. Let's try it. Looks like there is peas, some bacon, and chicken. So let's do it. I'm gonna take a bite of the chicken. Mm. I love the To be honest, I'm not surprised she would love that chicken because she comes to cook chicken to save her life. The texture of their chicken and their taste. It's so good. Because it's not been boiled to dust. Okay, you guys. So it's time for my next meal. Today is a little confusing because like I said, I had Panera bread when I wasn't supposed to. So I'm not having like any of the snacks or anything like in the middle of my meals. I might have one later tonight, but we'll see. So I'm having a... I don't know, I don't know how many calories is she on so far. So, so far she's on almost 3,000 calories. Um, yeah, to be fair, she'll still be in a calorie deficit, but we'll get to that. Huge salad with some carrots and Jenny Craig balsamic vinaigrette. You guys know that I love it because I tried it in last video, I think. And we're also having a chicken burrito. Ugh. That's not too bad either because it's only a small wrap. So good. All right, let's add this in. That is actually her highest calorie Jenny Craig meal to the day, which is surprising, isn't it? Because it has the salad, so you automatically think it's going to be better. But 373 calories, 49 grams of carbs, 14 grams of fat, 15 grams of protein. So it's not as good as what I thought it was going to be. So we're going to try that together. Whew, it's super hot. I'm trying to get a, get a piece of it, but it's piping. I cut it in half. <laughs> I swear my mmms and this is delicious, it's so repetitive, but honestly, it's true. So, y'all, I'm so mad. I thought I was filming when I was That was literally a troll then, hold on. Look at that face, she does that on purpose. Y'all, I'm so mad. I thought I was filming when I wasn't. Damn it. It is a s'mores bar. Oh. And it literally looks like a snicker or a Milky Way or something. And I already tried it because I thought I was filming. This is what it looks like. It is so delicious. It tastes like a candy bar. It might as well be one. It, it literally is a candy bar though. It's just a very small candy bar, but that is exactly what it is. It's nothing else besides a candy bar. It's so good. So oh, this means I'm done with day three. We had a little slip up moment and that's okay. Things happen, but I will see you guys for day four. Bye. All right, so let's take a look. She ate in total um, 500, 300, 300. So she ate around 1100 calories worth of Jenny Craig. Basically she ate her, she ate basically her maintenance calories. So if she were to eat like this every single day, basically at her maintenance, pretty much at her maintenance, she's like 200 calories under her maintenance. She is in a deficit of 1400 calories a week which is even in two weeks she would only lose a pound of fat which is obviously not good when you are 520 pounds with a bmi of 92. granted she's trying to get back on the horse and all of that after her slip up really she should have she could have cut out two of these meals realistically she didn't have to eat three meals for an extra 1100 calories when she's already eaten 2200. i would suggest that she probably tries to stay on the 3000 because she did 3,000. Oh, well, that's 300. Because if she did 3,000, then at least she's consuming, she's in a weekly deficit of 4,200, which means that she could still lose a pound of fat a week, which is not a lot, obviously, as somebody her size, but it's better than nothing. Uh, because at this rate, she's never gonna lose weight. And that's then gonna demotivate her, and then that's gonna result in lack of progress. Anyway, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to have to go because I have chores to do. But thank you very much for watching. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Dislike if you want to dislike. Let me know why. And I will see you in the next one. Ciao.